You don't have to be in a garden for inspiration when you live near beautiful canals like this. This is inspiring enough for an art project. The beauty of ducks swimming on the canal. A baby duckling. My eye is being drawn to the white ducks. Look how beautiful they look and the reflections in the water. My attention has been drawn to all the white flowers that are out right now. There are even feathers out here floating around in the air. After seeing a white duck on the canal, I was inspired by its beauty and this is what led me to the artwork today. So this is the image I chose. With the white duck idea in mind, I started looking out for white flowers. But on my travels I found some white feathers and some really interesting textural white flowers and plants. This will be our colour palette. Begin by drawing a simple outline of the duck. Just an outline is enough, don't go with too much detail here. And if you look at the duck, he's not just pure white. He's got definition of shades and highlights. And we can achieve this using the flowers because they're not all white. They're actually different shades of white. Begin the same technique as we always do. I'm using PVA glue on a brush so I can brush it down. This is the paler shade and if you can see the top of his head is quite white. So I'm just using the flowers, the white one, the whitest of flowers to create the collage effect on his head. Keep this process going until you've come all the way down to about here. So it should begin to look a little bit like this. You're just having some fun. Use your whites to create your duckling. This is quite an interesting one too and I'm going to use this for these kind of areas here and over here. Then this one I found is a slightly darker shade because of the little pieces in the middle and that'll be quite nice for these kind of areas. But I've even found some feathers and this will be quite nice for the darker areas because this one's actually got a little tiny hint of grey in it. So just keep this process going all the way through your artwork. Don't worry about the beak or the eye because we are going to use mixed media again. So your duck should start looking a little bit like this. Now I have been back into my garden as well as the wildflowers that I found across the canal I found some more in my garden to use as well. So once your flowers are down, it should start to look like this. Now if we go back to our picture, we can do, define him now, the orange beak and the eyes. So again, I've got my markers I always use, my felt tips, but they're like brushes. And I'm just going to use them to define the areas that I want to.
and then use my black like so. Now do the same to his feet. Same technique to his feet area. So the end result of your duck looks a bit like this. But we're not going to stop there. We are going to use mixed media again now and create a background. I'm using soft pastels. They are messy but they're really good to use. But you can use paints, crayons, felt, whatever you want to. And if you look back closely at the picture, you can see there's lots of shades of green. And all we're doing is taking our shades of pastels. And gently blending them in. So repeat this process all around the duck. So this is how it should look now. And you can just finish it off by adding some grass. right in the foreground so it looks quite 3D. It's amazing what you can find in, when you go out and about looking. The inspiration, the different plants, the different textures out there. And you can have fun and just create a piece of artwork with it.